<laughs> orkies. <laughs> Orky orkies. This really looks like a ton of fun, man. <laughs> uh, it gets tedious. Oh, is there any lore behind the main character? Uh, not that I can tell. But so we can come up with some we lore. We can make him some lore, correct? Yeah. Uh, all right. So you, you said he's a Chad, but what's his name? Uh, his name is Chaz with a Z. Chaz. Chaz the Chad. And I I suspect he is actually security. There's a dance. There's a dance. Yeah. He's going to hit the ladies with that dance. For yeah, sure. he's going to hit his... He's on the spikes, gonna, though. Yeah, the spikes. Careful, man. Ugh. I'm going to say that he is security for the Philharmonic Orchestra and the Orcs want to be in the or naturally Orcs want to be in an orchestra right if you were mm -hmm. an Orc wouldn't you want to be in the orchestra, orchestra. yeah of course well I'm not getting hit by boom barrels at the same time uh, I do wish for male for, for big whales to be able to enjoy their milkshakes and use the orchestras Orchestra. I got it. Yes. Yeah. I, I, I'm not, I'm not, is that Goro over there on the on the tower? Like, <laughs> it's is like that the, or, the, the Vitruvian Goro. The Vitruvian uh, uh, freaking Gork. Vitruvian Gor Gorko. Vitruvian Gorko. I like how like thing a death metal three is like band. just body parts. Yeah. Oh, I have to hit a button. Sorry, people. Usually you have to hit buttons to make things happen. La, 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 la. So Trotsky, do you have any favorite classical music songs? Moonlit Sonata. Ah, any others? Mm. Let me start with that. So you know I've been a pianist for a long time. Mm -hmm. Moonlight Sonata by Beethoven. For those of you listening, if you've if listening and watching, if you're not familiar with the song, just Google it or YouTube it. You'll re you should probably recognize it. I'm going to give you a hot take. Mm -hmm. I don't like Moonlight Sonata. That, means, that doesn't mean I don't appreciate it and I don't understand why other people really like it. I don't like Moonlight Sonata. I mm -hmm. couldn't tell you why. Um, I should like it. It's beautiful. I just did it, don't like did it. it affect you negatively as a child? You know what it is? Uh, okay, this is going to be a little preposterous of me to say. Okay. I think Beethoven did it wrong. Beethoven did it wrong. Beethoven did this. I mean, it's his song. How can I say he did it wrong? That'd be like me. Yeah. Say, that'd be like me saying you told your story and Joey wrong. Which is how can how can I say that? It's your story. You can decide. Well, surprisingly, people say that all the time. Like people just try to control things. <laughs> I mean, it might be a difference of opinion. You might say, "Yeah, I would have liked it better had it gone this way." But so when I hear Moonlight Sonata, I hear when I hear the first part of it, I don't dislike it. But I hear a different song coming along. I hear it progressing differently than how Beethoven did it. I just look at it as a missed opportunity. Mm. And for that reason, instead of me, you know, being weird about it, even though I am being weird about it right now, I usually just say I don't like the song. We just because I hear a different song. I wonder if I should actually try to write what I've heard, although I don't feel like that would be correct. I don't feel like Beethoven earned, you know, deserves me trying to redo his song. That's not okay. Oh, no, they're getting away. And, and another, ah, I died. Another hot take mm -hmm. is probably the next... Beethoven has a couple very well-known songs. Another really big one is Fur Elise. I feel as though Fur Elise is unfortunately overrated. I love Fur Elise, hmm. but I feel like it's overrated. If you're watching, listening at home, again, go YouTube that song. You'll you'll recognize it. Um, How about Lux Eternia? I don't know if I know that one by name. I'd have to go listen to it. I don't, know, do if that, I don't know if it's Beethoven. Oh, I don't know. Are you familiar with Claire de Lune? No. I think if you heard it, you would be like, yes, I recognize this from Twilight. I don't know. I don't know if you watched Twilight. That was really uh, your, I did not watch that Twilight. That was really your scene... I, okay, I, I, again, I dislike that it ended up in Twilight because then whenever it gets talked about, people say, oh, you mean that song from Twilight? I'm like, come on. It's not just from Twilight. You know, well, we got Twilight guy being Batman now, so he's uh, Vampire Batman. Vampatman. Yeah. I want to be Vampatman. You know, people actually say he's a pretty good actor, and he's just unfortunately remembered so well known for that role that uh, they think of him as Vampire Boy. Vampire Boy, I don't know. 
But I mean, I'll I'll see his Batman movie. Actually, I'm super behind on pretty much all sorts of DC content. I'm very behind on Marvel content too. It's unfortunately where I'm at. But so I'm I'm attempting to learn how to play Claire de Lune. Uh, it's I printed it out. It's like nine pages, and I can make it through the first three pages up to the key change so far. I'll learn it eventually. It just takes time, man. You sit there and learn it because it's once when, when you have for, you know if, if you're listening at home and you're a musician and you know how to read music you probably understand what I'm talking about when songs go onto multiple pages you have to have a way to turn the page which is usually to temper like very briefly stop playing so you can just flip the page over unless you have the song memorized or you have enough of the song memorized that you know what is on the rest of the page and maybe when there's a pause for one hand you can kind of just quickly flip it uh, but what ends up basically happening is if it takes more than one or two sheets you kind of have to memorize the song uh, to not have to then flip it during your performance of it or when you're playing. Ooh, good orc. Achievement. Mm. I wonder if it'll say what it's for. Delicious orcs? It doesn't say what you had to do. I guess oh, probably just killing a certain number of orcs. Probably one orc killed another. Oh. Maybe. Good orc. If, uh, if you know what that achievement specifically was for, like the requirements, can you put them in the comments? We're curious. Woo! But yeah, so I'm about... Uh, Three ninths of the way through learning Claire de Lune. If you want to math that out for yourself, a third, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I don't want to say a third. I want to say three ninths. I want each page to get its due. You know. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to. You know. Whenever. Uh, <laughs> Reduce your friend. <laughs> whenever. Whenever it's totally done, I will. Uh, well, or I could say a third of nine ninths, if you would prefer. Whenever I have it totally learned, I'll record it and we'll try to maybe use it as the background music for a future Pat and Trotsky Tuesday episode. Woo! 